emerging from research and development was a small arm that would revolutionize the concept of the military assault rifle, the Sturmgewehr 44. By early 1942, it was in the works. In late 1943, it was ready for field tests. This is the first of the really effective assault rifles. This has all the characteristics and qualifications for an assault rifle. It is selective fire, semi-automatic to full automatic. It fires a mid-range cartridge that is not as powerful as a rifle cartridge, more powerful than a pistol cartridge. It has a large magazine capacity of 30 rounds. And it, it was an extremely effective rifle. It was issued in as widely as the Germans could manufacture them in beginning in the spring of 1944. Hitler had a conference of commanders from the Eastern Front and sat them all down and said, what's going on, this, that, and the other. Now, what, uh, what do you need? And one of them said, a lot more of these new rifles. And Hitler said, what rifle? And, of course, the fat was in the fire then. But once he saw the rifle and once he heard what it could do, he was so delighted, he christened it the Assault Rifle, or Sturmgewehr. And it became a standard weapon. And it is the forefather of all modern military rifles. Because all modern military rifles adhere to the same philosophy, small cartridge, light rifle, short range. The Sturmgewehr 44 is an air-cooled semi and fully automatic rifle. Its weight when loaded is 11 and a half pounds. Its detachable steel magazine holds 30 rounds of 7.92 quarts, short ammunition. Its rate of fire is between 500 to 600 rounds per minute. It was arguably the premier small arm of its time. One called a Krummerlauf was a 90 degree curved barrel that was designed to fit onto a Sturmgewehr 44. It came into limited use for street fighting, for poking it round the corner and shooting somebody round the corner. And it was a very simple device. It was just a bent piece of tube clamped on the muzzle with holes drilled in it to let some of the gas out as the bullet turned the corner. And it lasted for, I don't know, two or three hundred shots, I think, after which time it had, it had worn itself away and the bullets were liable to come out through one of the holes. But it was effective in limited circumstances. <laughs> 